My name is M. Adams and I am uh, one of the co-executive directors. And that means I help out with programming, I run groups, I do one-on-one, -on -one, um, leadership development, organizing, as well as a lot of um, administrative stuff. My name is Alex Shabazz. I'm currently a volunteer at Freedom Inc. Um, but I'm a former staff um, at Freedom Inc. Youth Coordinator. Um, I specialize in educational justice and youth advocacy. We live in a world that polices who we are um, to the point where people are afraid to be who they are, especially when it comes to my sexuality and my gender. Um, there are a lot of things that say that there's something wrong with that. But I feel like free to be me means that I can be all of who I am, and that's okay. Free to be me means that I have the human right to be all of who I am, and for that to be loved and respected and also have dignity. There are lots of parts of me that I'm very proud of and very um, honored to be and honored to have, but that don't get accepted. And so that's a reminder to embrace all of the parts of me to be proud of all those parts, to not be afraid of being visible, and to love myself as if my life depends on it. So being a, a black, gay, genderqueer woman, I face a lot of different issues um, in life. Some could be um, personal, whether it's maybe body dysphoria I experience um, because I don't like certain body parts that I have, thinking about whether or not to bind in a day, or it's walking down the street and being harassed by the police because I got a cup in my hand and they think it's alcohol, or when I'm driving and the police pulls up behind us, you know, getting afraid and being afraid to get pulled over. It could be things like that, or larger systemic issues when I think about me and people who look like me, and the people who live where I live you know, how I don't have access to resources that would give me a better life. It was important for me to be in a poster because I'm a stud and I don't see a lot of studs um, on posters, in movies, on TV, anything like that. Love is love means to me that I have the right uh, to receive love like other people with different identities than me. In a sense, sometimes people are surprised by how I wear those identities, how I show those identities. Any type of love is okay. Whether you love men, women, trans men, trans women, whoever you love and whoever you decide to love, it is okay. When people see it, especially people like me, that they feel proud of who they are and that they continue their journey of self-love, healing, acceptance, and have pride in being who they are and being themselves no matter what that means. In order to, to get to freedom, it's a lot of work. And so I hope that whoever sees it, that it stands out to them as no matter what, I'm gonna do the work to free myself. No matter what anybody says about me or people like me, no matter how many times people turn me down, no matter what people try to do to me, I'm always gonna be me and be proud of who I am. And I'm not gonna be ashamed of who I am for anybody. In a world, and in a society that says that it's not okay to be genderqueer, that there's something wrong with being black, that women are less than, that you are still free to be you, and the act of being just you is revolutionary.